while patrolling the major routes outside Dublin, linking the city with the port, airport and the rest of Ireland. Police pulled over a truck that was driving erratically and exceeding the speed limit. The vehicle was immediately seized and the driver charged with dangerous driving. But suspecting there is more going on with this truck than meets the eye, the police have now called in senior transport officer Seamus Lynch from the Road Safety Authority to investigate. The driver has to comply with certain rules are called the driver's orders regulations. So the driver has to take prescribed breaks, he's got to take prescribed daily rest and weekly rest periods. And he's also restricted to a certain number of driving hours. So the purpose of the tachograph then basically is to keep a record of all them breaks, rest periods and driving times. By manipulating the tachograph, they're disguising all of that. You know? Officer Lynch begins his investigation by printing out the distance travelled data from the tachograph, as well as the recorded engine speed. But the data doesn't add up. Now, when I look at, at the vehicle speed here, right, it's telling me that the vehicle never moved. That's fine. The guy could have been at rest that day. However, the engine speed between 600 and 800 revs, there's a 36 minute period there. From 800 to 1000 revs, we've got 53 minutes. So if I add all these up, compare these two printouts, the vehicle speed, zero, for 24 hours. But this is telling me that the truck was actually moving for seven hours and 23 minutes. You know, there's no doubt there's a device here somewhere. Officer Lynch, suspecting the vehicle's tachograph has been illegally tampered with, decides to take the truck back on the road to test it. Our tachograph is recording the fact that we're actually driving. That's what it's supposed to do. The speedometer is working, and it's based on the information we've got from the calibrated speed gun used by the sergeant here. It's, it's working correctly. The, the, the two speeds are matching, and the odometer is recording the actual distance travelled. So I'm happy that there's no device being used at the moment as we're driving this vehicle. Everything may have worked correctly in the test, but Officer Lynch suspects there is an illegal and highly dangerous device fitted to the vehicle. Now he needs to find the device to prove it. A speeding truck has been seized by the Garda and its driver arrested for dangerous driving. But there's also a suspicion that the truck has been tampered with to avoid safety regulations. Road Safety Authority Officer Seamus Lynch has checked the truck's data and is certain it's fitted with an illegal device that stops the tachograph working correctly. When I compare these two printouts, the vehicle speed, zero, but this is telling me that the truck was actually moving for seven hours and 23 minutes. Now he needs to prove it. What's probably fitted to this particular vehicle is um, a canvas manipulation device. Having come across these devices before, Officer Lynch has an idea of how it works. To trigger the device, we've got to turn the ignition on without actually engaging the engine. Now, Darren, if you want to put your foot on the accelerator, count to six, one, two, three, four, five, six, starter. The device will be activated and we will then proceed to drive and we'll actually see what effect does this device have on the truck. Pulling out there now. You can clearly see the tachograph is not recording driving. We're actually not traveling at all according to the speedometer. It's at zero. Using a quiet stretch of road, the officer driving put his foot down. We've upped the speed, so let's see what the calibrated gun tells us. We're now down 122. The speed limit is 90. The driver has no idea what speed he's driving at. Speedometer's not working, so he hasn't a clue. You've got to bear in mind, this is a truck. A truck like this can't stop in a hurry. And usually the people who use these devices, they're used for the purpose of disguising the fact that they're driven longer hours than they're supposed to, they haven't got the required brakes or rest periods, so they're more than likely fatigued drivers. And the statistics show that one in five accidents are caused by fatigue. It's extremely dangerous and uh, you know, I would imagine that the people who fit these devices give absolutely no consideration whatsoever to road safety. Armed with the evidence that the tachograph has been tampered with, Officer Lynch now needs to find the device. His team starts looking for anything unusual. 
and it's not long before they find what they're looking for. Is there a black box I see here? We've seen these before. Auto Canvas data log. I'm gonna have a look inside, okay? Right, there we have a printed circuit board. So what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try and do a little bit of a test to turn the engine on now, okay? Now if my suspicions are correct, I would expect to see a green light or something else. Four, five, six. There's your green light. She's now activated. With the suspicions confirmed, the evidence Officer Lynch has uncovered will be used to prosecute the truck's operator and driver. The haulage industry is highly competitive, leading to companies taking risks to complete the work on time. But on this occasion, they haven't got away with it. They now face a fine of up to 5,000 euros and even six months in jail. It's all down to being motivated by money at the end of the day. The more work they carry out, the more they get paid. So, you know, I presume they look at the tachograph and driver's orders regulations as being too restrictive. But the problem with that is, obviously, you're compromising road safety and the conditions for drivers. These drivers are often, you know, made to use these devices and they're ending up driving 16, 17, 18 hours a day and not getting um, adequate rest periods. Quite a small looking device, isn't it? But what it can do with kind of pretty serious consequences. If one was to consciously think of road safety, you wouldn't put in one of these.